going on? Well, we know what the first question is. No. All right. Where'd it go? All right, Michael. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, where where did the beard go? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I was, change it up. I just, morning, got irritated by it, among other things, uh, watching the film, whatever. So we'll see. I'll probably grow it back out. What, what did you take from the film after watching it again? I mean, because you were pretty frustrated with sure. seeing, like, everything offensively. That wasn't offensive. It was the entire team, Michael. You know, we're going to win and lose games as an entire team, and it's a part of it. And, um, you know, you got to give Carolina credit. They beat us on the line of scrimmage on both sides of football, and that's credit to them. They had a came in here, and they had a game plan to execute, um, and they stuck to it, and, and then ultimately they end up winning the game. You know, I was frustrated because we had chances in that game. It wasn't the cleanest game offensively, but, you know, you turn the ball over, you know, going in, that's points off the board. Credit to them. They made a play. Shaq Thompson made a play. Um, so, you know, in, in a game like that, that wasn't, you know, really, uh, it wasn't a track meet. You know, it was, a, it was a slow grind. I mean, they had the ball for 34 some minutes. They ran it 40 plus times. And then you get in there and you have another opportunity late in the game and you don't execute. And, you know, we don't put the stress back on them. And that's a big momentum swing as well. And then they go down and credit to them. When they had to have a drive, they put it together and they found a way to score a touchdown. And then we just never, we never got anything going. And, uh, you know, if in all three phases, we could play better, but you got to give Carolina credit. And it is frustrating because they came in there, there was no secrets, and they, they beat us on both sides of the line of scrimmage. And we better fix it in a hurry because we're, we're, we're going down to a hornet's nest in New Orleans. And we, I could probably uh, take a good educated guess what their game plan is going to be. So we got to get ready to go. Carolina ran the ball so well anyway, and they have Kamara and Ingram. I mean, sure. how do you, how do you, fit, how do you fix that? that? It's, a, it's a national football league. we got prideful guys. I mean, you, you got to give them credit. I mean, we'll, we'll, it won't, won't be the same. If it looks the same, you get the same result. Uh, can, going up against a guy like Stephon Gilmore, can, what can Kyle learn from that experience? Against yeah, it's every experience. You know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, people don't want to hear it. Because everybody wants to live through their avatar on social media, and we want to live every you know minute to minute. Hey, he's the greatest. Oh, he's a he's the worst, and it, it's stupid. So you know, people, and that's today's age. And I love the information age, but you also there's a downside to it. Like I said, like I always think if you want to live through your avatar, it, it's a it's a fake world. And so if you know, and we're all guilty of it, and you got to he's got to look at the big picture in the process. It, this is a this is a tough profession. Tough, tough league. I said it last week. For coaches and players, you'll get humble quick if you're not ready. That's the grind of the National Football League. There's no, there's no days off. You see it year in, year out, week after week, and so it's a lesson learned for him. So you know, give give Gilmore credit. So I, I my, you know, my money is that Kyle will learn from it, and he'll be a lot better off because of it. And if he takes that mindset, we'll be just fine. Uh, trade deadline is tomorrow. Do you, do you all anticipate making any moves? Or I mean, I, I think you'll you know everybody checks in with each other. I think it's standard operating procedure. You, you'll have the professional politicians in this league that you'll you'll all hear about it on the national media. But um, you know, I, you know, never say never. I'm sure Terry will do his due diligence just like every other GM in the league. So we'll see. Steph, last night, going back to the question about Gilmore with Shaq and Gilmore. Um, this defense, this Carolina defense changes. And, and I was just curious kind of what you saw, how how they impact the game. I mean, I know we see the interceptions and stuff like that. Yeah. But. You know, they're, they're, they're quality players that have, that have played a lot of meaningful snaps in the NFL. Uh, and they're good players and they're smart. And there are some things that they do that you maybe get an inexperienced guy on that you – they're just – they're calm under pressure. And, and – and it's the same thing for any team. When you, when you have good veterans that can play and they know what to do, uh, they can definitely have an impact and there's a, there's a ripple effect on everybody else. And so that's, that's what – and it's only – there's no shot at anybody else. It's just the truth and it's a credit to, to guys. I have a lot of respect for veterans in this league, guys that play a high level for a long time. And those are two guys that do it. And so, that, you know, we'd be a, we're a better team when Matt Ryan plays. And that's no knock on anybody else. That's the truth. What can you all do to 
get Russell Gage more involved after after yesterday? Well, I mean, there's there's plenty of things, but again, it, it, a lot of times it's the coverage, and you know he's got to do his job too to get open. I mean, I, I don't, you know, if you if we want to be a high volume drop back team and lose a lot of games and and pad some stats, okay, great. But uh, I got faith in Russell, and so. You know, there's some things that we all got to do better. And it's like everybody on offense, we, we, we got to execute better than we did yesterday. So, I, again, those, those are old narratives, and guys can have stats in a, in a heavy drop back game, and you, and you lose, who cares? We, the, old, the only goal is to win the football game. And we'll find every way possible to try to do that week after week. And we got to find a way to get guys better. So sh- sure, there's some other things we can do, but he's got to do his part as well. You, you said earlier that you know, Everything missed opportunities you're frustrated with, but is there one thing that you, when you look back on the offensively, that you just sat there and said, "Wow, sat that there. I, it, look, it, the game doesn't change. You got to win the line of scrimmage. And when you don't win the line of scrimmage, it, it doesn't matter what you call. I said you can call shot after shot, and your quarterback's gonna get throttled when you don't win the line of scrimmage. And if you become one, one dimensional and you're playing a really good front, which most weeks you do, and Carolina's got a good front, it's gonna be ugly, and your quarterback's gonna get hit." Uh, so you try not to make it obvious, and you still got to find ways to push the ball on the field. But until they change the, the rules of this game, when you lose the line of scrimmage, it's hard to win. Not saying you can't, but it's hard to win. When it comes to, you know, you, you said, you know, you have a good idea of what the Saints are going to be doing. And you also have Dallas coming up in two weeks. And when it comes to run defense, kind of what do you tell this group about, like, hey, have a sense of urgency to kind of not let what happened against Carolina There's happen. a lot of things. I mean, you can certainly you – can, you can tweak things. Uh, you know, some of the things you want – the way you want to play certain combinations, maybe schematically, if you want to change things up, you can certainly change things up personnel. So all options are on the table. How do you – because obviously New Orleans right now with James being out – is maybe the truest unknown at quarterback potentially that you might see. How do you prep for that when there's he really a bunch for of players? Trevor? You know, I worked with Trevor for a little, little last year. He was our emergency QB on the practice squad, and they signed him. I think they signed him the day that he went down there. His wife was going into labor in Nashville. Uh, Trevor's a good guy, smart player. Uh, you know, obviously he played last night or yesterday afternoon and played well. And then I'm sure they'll have Taysom back, and, you know, they, they got – the explosive package when he's out there. So that's probably what it'll be. And then a heavy dose of Kamara and Ingram. Anything else? All right. Appreciate you guys.